Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial number 17 of the Lost in the Sea series. And today we are going to see a proper way to import animations into Unity from Blender. First thing I'm gonna do is quickly create a Unity project like this. Then create a resources folder and another one inside called characters. Now back to Blender, what we wanna do is select our octopus or your animated character and make sure you only select your character and that the armature is in object mode. Now press Ctrl C to make a copy of it. What I like to do to make sure all the transforms are imported correctly is create a new Blender file, press 2 times A and erase everything. Now we hit Ctrl V to paste our animated character and then press the dot key from the numpy to find and focus what we have pasted. Now what we need is to center our octopus the closest possible to the origin of this Blender file. And now as you can see everything is there, inclusive the animations, shape keys, actions, drivers and armatures. Everything works fine. Now what I'm going to do is not obligatory, you don't have to do it, but it may help some people fix problems with location, rotation and scale when importing to Unity. So let's enter in edit mode of the octopus, select everything with A, press shift S and select cursor to select it. Now go back to object mode and press shift ctrl alt C to select origin to 3D cursor. Select the armature and now you only need to press shift ctrl alt C and again select origin to 3D cursor. Now the origin of the armature and the object are the same. Just one more thing that helps avoiding problems is selecting the octopus and let's apply location, rotation and scale by pressing Ctrl A. And do the same thing in object mode with the armature. But be careful if applying scale or rotation or location moves any bone away, just don't apply it. Now the idea is that we save this blend file directly in the characters folder we created inside the resources folder of our Unity project. And as soon as we have saved it and move on to Unity, Unity may take a few seconds to import it, but after that we have access to our octopus, the respective materials, which in this case are nothing special, and the animations we created in Actions Editor. And this way, any further animation that we will create or any change we do, as soon as you save it in Blender, it will automatically update in Unity. I think this is a better way than FBX, but that's up to you. And here you can see all the animations. And now we can erase these default animations and the others that we don't want by pressing the minus sign. Now, before importing our animation to our scene, we just need one more thing, which is the animation controller that will manage every animation we have. Now we just need to check loop and don't forget to press apply every time we change something here. And by pressing with the right mouse, we can go to the create and select animator controller and rename it to something like octopus animation controller. Now if we press two times on this animation controller, Unity opens the animator window. And by default it looks like this, we have an entry node and an any state node. We can press the right click mouse and select create empty state. And now as you can see Unity has already connected to the entry node. You can call it octopus walking cycle and if you press here in motion, the animation of our characters will appear and you can select the octopus walking cycle. Now we can drag and drop the octopus to our scene and in the inspector tab, in the animator, let's select for the controller octopus animation controller. And now when we press play, since the entry node is connected to the walking cycle, our octopus will start walking. Now if you want to make your animation faster or slower, you can simply go to the animator window and change the speed value. 
Now, what if we want to control the animations by script? Well, in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how easy it is done and you can find it in the description or in my channel. I will show you how to fade animations and how to change them with input of our keyboard. So please subscribe for weekly game development videos and thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial.